Alrighty, um, what'll be day nine? Doggo! Um, so, I'm gonna return the headlights that I got for the Skyline. And I'm gonna get my money back for that. I'm gonna try find some exhaust studs for that thing. Um, don't know if I'm gonna do anything to that today. Um, and so that thing there, I tested it out uh, yesterday. Um, and it's not doing the, the cutting out thing anymore, so, yeah, um, hopefully, just the, the earth was a fix for that. Um, yeah, and we'll go. We'll go do that now. Now, I feel like a total jerk because I destroyed this packaging unnecessarily. Like, it has a little pop-out thing. I just cut the top off like an idiot. Alrighty, so through the power of video editing magic I've managed to change um, those headlights into exhaust stud bolts so we have all new studs I have a gasket at home um, we'll go uh, pull the old studs out there should be two left in there um, and then we'll um, chuck these in with a gasket on there and see how it all lines up alrighty we are back at home um, Go see if we uh, can't get this exhaust bolted on today. All right. So first things first, um, we're going to pull the exhaust manifold um, back off. Um, I'm going to get um, big vice grips and get those studs that are in it out. I think there's only two in there. Um, and then we'll get the new studs in there and then we'll uh, get the gasket, put it on, bolt it all up see how we go alright well that's those two studs out so now what we'll do is we'll uh, stick the new studs in not with uh, not with the vice grips because as you can probably see from this maybe if I can get it to focus it damages the threads so we definitely don't want to do that with uh, the one we stick on the on the car so alright now the other thing we're going to do when we do these is this it is thread locker so we're going to put the thread locker on the this end of it bit that goes into the head um, and it should stay in there um, whoever tries and takes it out next time is probably going to hate me but that's life Alright, so as you can see, that is all the studs on, um, thread locked in. Um, one of the tricks I use to get them all the way in is just lightly do up the bolts and twist it until it's fully done. And then just very, very lightly with a 
pair of pliers and a rag around it. Just grab onto the end and just undo the bolts. Um, and that should uh, that should keep them nice and tight. Um, the thread lock will set. We'll get our uh, manifold gasket on and then we'll bolt our manifold on. Um, and then that part of the job will be done. Uh, we just have to worry about the rest of the exhaust then. Alright, so I found the gasket and it turns out it's actually a 20 valve one. Um, so this is it here. And the difference between 16 valve and 20 valve is this bolt hole here and this bolt hole here. That's it. The 20 valves were further down, the 16 valve, the bolt hole would be somewhere around there and somewhere around there, um, but this is not. So what I'm going to do, and I don't condone this, but I mean this is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the gasket there, um, and I'm going to cut the gasket there. Um, now if you notice by these here, these are sealed right around here, but there's no seal here or here which tells me that if I bolt that manifold on nice and tight that's still going to compress that ring there which is going to give us the seal that we want so it'll work um, but we just won't have the bolt holes aligned on either end of that this would definitely void any kind of warranty I got on it um, I'd never be able to return it to the manufacturer, but I bought it like six years ago um, and it was for a different motor and this was just a spare. So yeah, I'm going to um, gonna cut those ends off and then I'm going to stick her on there and we're going to bolt it on. Alrighty, so here you can see we have our modified manifold gasket. So this bit here is just failing, so we're going to give that a clean up and just, uh, yeah. Alright, a little bit of trimming. Nice. Alright, that works great. So uh, next step is to check the manifold on and some bolts. Alrighty, so as we can see now, all of the studs are on. All of them. This is also a PSA to all you Nissan dudes. Every if you haven't replaced your studs in the last five years, replace them. Go to an exhaust shop. Um, I think it cost me $12 with studs and nuts for this thing. Um, and it saves down the line having to replace or not replace get get a professional out to pull the studs out that you break because especially Nissan dudes you like to change your exhaust setup all the goddamn time 
So your exhaust is on and off, your turbo is on and off, there's extra weight on it. So yeah, for the for the $12 or whatever to replace all of them with nuts, um, it's a lot better than paying someone $80 an hour to come out and uh, drill them out. And I know because I replaced them on that thing because same sort of deal. They were old, they were going to cark it, and one snapped as I was undoing it. I managed to get it out without having to pay someone, but seriously, for the 12 bucks or the 14 bucks or whatever, just go buy yourself some. I, I went to went to a local exhaust shop, and they had them in stock, ready to go. Easy as. It saves you just a bunch of hassle down the track. So I got a little bored and I started cleaning up the engine just a touch. Only just a touch. I haven't done the uh, intake manifold or anything like that. I really got to clean this whole bay up, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, so I think I'm done down here for today. Um, pack everything up, put it all away. Um, one thing I will say though, um, there won't be a video tomorrow. Um, it's not that I'm not filming, because I definitely am. Um, however, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to change my upload schedule. So I will be uploading the day's vlog the next morning. Um, this, uh, this just means I have to change it over because I, uh, when I'm uploading it the same day, I have to finish at about 12.31 at the absolute latest. Um, and that gives me about an hour to edit an hour to render the video because they are about 20 minutes long. Um, they are filmed in 1080 with 50 frames a second um, film rate, so it does take quite a while for my thing to render. Um, and if I need to do anything else in that sort of time frame, um, it starts pushing closer and closer towards um, not getting it up in time. So the uploads can take anywhere up to an hour as well. So that takes about three hours so the the absolute latest that I can finish is usually like 1.30 and that's like with a quick chuck together edit render it as quick as possible and then chuck it up on the internet um, so what I'm going to be doing is just changing it so it's the next morning um, this gives me time, more time to film or I can space out the filming during the day I can do some stuff at night I can edit and all that sort of stuff if I have to I can stay up late and finish editing do what I want to so at the moment I'm also learning a new program um, so for the last three years I've been editing on um, Adobe Pre Premiere Pro so I know my way around that program pretty well however I lost the the, the, the privilege of using that program so now I am filming on DaVinci um, and it's basically like learning from start again. I know what I want to do. Um, I just don't know how to go about getting there. So, um, yeah, a lot of it's, I've got to learn a whole new editing program, um, edit my videos. Um, and eventually I want to get back to the sort of quality that I had when I put together my, uh, Japan vlog video because... Honestly, I think that was uh, that was probably my peak vlog skill capability, um, and currently I am sitting at square one. Not much better than um, someone who puts it all together on their phone. And quite honestly, some people can get really fucking good at that. So I certainly can't knock them. But I do want to be up here, and I'm currently down here. So yeah. Either way, won't see you tomorrow, the day after, but I will be filming tomorrow. Anyway, peace out.